Hello and welcome PML fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and we are in the championship round once again. Can we get over the hump and beat the Toronto Tyranitars or will we fail again and lose our sixth straight championship in a row? Will we be the Buffalo Bills or will we be the Seattle Seahawks who finally win one? We'll find out right now. <laughs> So, um, very intense matchup here. Uh, we were both number one in our divisions after the whole debacle of, uh, you know, people just not understanding the rules and then deciding to leave after. But that is neither here nor there. We have a tough matchup here. I wasn't exactly sure what Morgan would bring, except for I knew the two walls were coming. Noi Vern, Cinderace was coming. Pretty good chance that Gardevoir is Scarf. He normally likes to scarf that thing. And I wasn't sure what the next Pokemon would be. And Palisand seems to be the one. So, we are prepared for all Pokemon he could have brought. Glad to not see a Magnazone, honestly. And, um, let's go ahead and, uh, get this battle underway. So, good luck. Have fun, Morgan. And, um, may there be no RNG and may the best player win. Alright, so Black Chapel comes out, probably predicting our Galvantula lead, which is a very good lead. And I'm sure he's going to try to scare us out and get up rocks, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the sticky webs here. And if he does hit us with the move, it's not going to be anything that's going to take us out. So he goes for the hard switch. And Tangy times two comes in. All right, so this is his defensive wall. We do get our our. Um... <sighs> Sorry, I'm nervous. We do get our webs up, and now we're gonna go ahead and switch in here to Free Me Day. Free Me Day is just gonna be an annoying defensive pivot. And uh, I don't want to get any chip damage off on any of our other players right now. Incineroar is a perfect wall to this thing, but I'll, if I can take this thing out without dealing with that, that'd be great. So, I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Toxic here. The only thing uh, I don't want him to switch to is uh, uh, Toxapex, which he didn't. So we do get that free poison off on him. And goes for the knockoff here. So we lose our item, which means we're going to be 10 times faster. And we're going to go ahead and go for the strength sap here. If he decides to switch, we'll lower the attack on whatever comes in. And um, if he stays in, I mean, we'll just be getting toxic damage on this thing. All right, so Polo G comes in. And we do get some Strength Sap here. And we should be double speed. So I don't think he has anything to take me out. I'm going to go for a Toxic. Hopefully we're still faster. And he'll probably get a Tailwind up. Oh, goes for the defog. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a protect here. Just scout out what he's gonna do. If he just goes tailwind, good on him. But uh, as you can see, I do not have an attacking move on this thing, and I don't want to pull the Memento card just yet. Okay, so he actually withdraws and goes to Tangy times two again. All right, that fills. So he's going to be going for a move here. And I guess now is as good as time as any. 
to Memento. No, not Memento. Uh, let's just go ahead and go to Nacho Libre here. He's probably going to knock off me again and knock off my Chapel Berry, but it'd be fine. Or... You know what? Let's just go to Yellow Widow, I guess. You know what? No, because Specs is going to be real helpful if I can actually take advantage of it. So let's go to Nacho Libre right here. Um, the Memento thing ain't going to work as good now because we're not going to be double speed the next time we take a hit. But his item goes off. And... Nacho Libre is in. We're going to go ahead and just go for the Flare Blitz. Well, you know what? Let's go for the Fake Out first. Alright, what does he bring in here? Black Chapel. Alright, so good move on his part. So we're going to switch back out to uh, Free Me Day. It's getting a little stally, so hopefully we can make our moves a little quick. Hopefully the championship match doesn't have to go to timer here. But I think we're doing good so far, so good. Alright, so he does get off the Stealth Rocks here, which is not going to be great for us. But um, I feel he will hard switch here. So I'm going to go out to Yellow Widow. I'm assuming he thinks I'm going to Toxic him and he's going to go Toxapex. So let's see if we made that play right. Yep, Pexy times two. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get our Sticky Web back up because he's most likely switching to Palisand again. And if he doesn't, and he just attacks us, good on him. But we need our we need our Sticky Web. Okay, so he hard switches out again, goes to Black Chapel. Get our sticky webs off. We're going to go straight to um, Aquafista here. Because if he goes um, Neuvern and goes Defog, we can knock it out with the Ice Punch. And uh, once we get Palisand off the field, we can freely Volt Switch everything. I kind of hope he does go Defog. We can always get webs up later, and we need to get rocked off our side. I didn't want to bring Defog because I knew um, even if they did get rocks on our side, uh, Sticky Web would uh, be more important for us. So it, it was a fair trade-off, in my opinion. So let's see if he goes defog here. We're just going to go ice punch. We're not going to predict. So if he does get defog, um, we'll be able to get this thing off the field. All right. So he hard switches here. Back to Black Chapel. Still super effective hit. So we'll do good here. We are not max attack by any means. Freeze, freeze. Thanks. Okay, so he's weakness policy. Um I think it gets energy ball, but I think we are faster. Uh let's see. Bumper versus I think Palisand. Uh, 
Um, if he does not have any speed investment, we should be faster. Let's go ahead and go for the flip turn. All right, good. We, we, we were faster. That was a risky play, but we did it. And he gets a, uh, he gets a defense boost. Okay, here we go. Who do we go to to hit this thing with? Um, I think we have to go Killer Wasp here. I did not think uh, Palisand was going to be this annoying. <laughs> so here we go. Killer Wasp here. If he goes for a ground move, we're pretty screwed. All right, he goes Giga Drain, which is fine. From that damage, I do believe we'll be able to knock this thing out. So let's go ahead and go for our Dragon Pulse. We are not allowed to Dynamax a, a UB, so he could Dynamax here, live our hit, and attack us back. But then uh, he would have burned his Dynamax. So we're in a very scary part of the battle here. Hope this thing knocks it out. Oh, it just lives and goes for the earth power. Oh, dang. All right. Time for us to pull our button. We're going to flick here. And we're going to get our speed boost right now. This is what, uh, this is the situation I needed it to be in. So we can go ahead and get a max airstream off. I really wish I didn't have to sacrifice Naganado there for that, but, you know, it is what it is. And after one speed boost, Flick will be faster than everything, and we'll be able to hit everything pretty hard. So we are burning our Dynamax first. Not the best position to be in. But as long as we hit all our moves, we are good to go. All right, so now we are five to five. And Durant is pretty set up here to do what it wants. A little Dirk. So Cinderace is coming in here. He's probably gonna Dynamax this thing. Um, we're just gonna go for the Max Quake. Should we go max rock ball? 130, 130. Does the same thing, technically. Uh, I'm gonna go max quake. I don't want sand on the field. Okay, so he's burning our our, our turn here. I should have went stone. I'm so stupid. Uh, I didn't see that coming. Good play, Morgan. Woo! Really good play there. All right, now I'm going to go for the max rock ball because, I mean, that hits everything at least. <laughs> so he lets this thing go down. And now we are set up behind the sand. Critical hit didn't matter. But now he has Dynamax and we don't. But also, rocks are here to stay on our side. And, um, and, um, uh, what is it? The webs are there to stay on his side. Alright, so now for sure this is going to be a two-hit KO. Uh, Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, 
I have to double check. He has no more levitators or flyers. So stomping tantrum is off. We connect and does over half. So beautiful. Even after leftovers damage, we should be able to knock that thing out. Skull, oh no, Skull's going to kill us here. No, it doesn't. I think the sand gives us a, a special defense boost. So Pexy times two is gaining health back. We're going to go ahead and go for the stomping tantrum again. If he has it, he'll go baneful bunker. No, he just hard switches here. And goes to tanky times two. And let's get this chip damage here. Stomping Tantrum goes off. Does a decent chunk. Plus the plus the sand and toxic damage. Might put it in range of an aerial ace. So we'll just have to see. Because uh, I'm staying in. So we're going aerial ace here. Good thing is we are punching big walls in his team. And our walls are still intact. So Aerial Ace comes off, hits Tangy Times 2 very well. And Tangy Times 2 goes for the knockoff here and should go down to a combination of Toxic and Sand. Oh, it doesn't. It hangs on. All right. Swampert, are you faster than Tangro? No, I am not. So I'm going to go ahead and go for Nacho Libre here. You know what? I'm going to go Yellow Widow. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just go for the Volt Switch. And he withdraws Tangy times 2 and goes to Pexy times 2. So we're going to get a Choice Specs Volt Switch off on this Toxapex here. And that's enough to knock it out. So Toxic Pack goes down. Alright, so I'm going to go free me day. Because if he goes Cinderace here, I'm just going to Memento. I'm not even going to play around with it. I mean, we might not live the hit. Depending on what he goes for. If he goes for a Max Darkness, I'm sure we go down. A little Dirk. Alright, our play here is to Memento 100%. Memento. Don't overthink it, Joe. Just push the button. And let it play. So he's Dynamaxing here. Three minutes left in the match. Don't kill us, please, so we can get our memento off. All right, little Dirt goes for the max airstream to get that uh, speed boost back. All right, so we're living that. And Memento will drop its attack by one. So we're sacrificing a Mon, but hopefully it pays off in the end. Now we're going to go to uh, Nacho Libre here. He's going to go for the Max Knuckle, I'm sure. And we're going to go for the Flare Blitz.
All right, Max Knuckle goes off there. Interesting. All right, Max Flare goes off into that thing. And uh, I guess we'll just push the button again. Oh man, I think if this goes to timer, he takes it because Nacho Libre is going down. Mm. Uh, Swampert needs to come in here and knock this thing out very quickly. Uh, we're pushing, pushing flip turn. Damn it, Morgan won. Oh no, we lost, guys. All that to lose. All that to lose. But GG Morgan. And can't be mad at him if he wants to assure the win. Mm -hmm. GG. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next season.